Ahoy, me hearties. Welcome to Autonauts vs. Pirate Bots. I be Jeff. You can call me Jeff. It's finally here. Autonauts vs. Pirate Bots has released. I can't wear my headset and the hat at the same time. So I'm excited to play this. I hope you're excited to see this. That nice sea shanty like music. I love it. All right, now I haven't watched any of this being played. Um, I've, you know, heard bits and pieces from the Discord or the news, but not, you know, I haven't seen this played yet. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I expect at the beginning it'll be a lot like the base game. You know, we'll have to set up a forestry's wood. That kind of stuff. But I know there are going to be some differences. For instance, that was the police. Rigel the seventh. We'll call, we'll call it that. Um, we have different challenge settings. Hard, extreme. We will be playing with, um, well, standard to start with, of course. And a tutorial. I don't know if I can pick. Yeah, I can't pick another landing spot. And it looks like we don't have or we don't know where the rich clay metal hole like maybe that stuff just doesn't matter yet lots of seawater lots of swamp further in sand everywhere of course lots of forest and some cereal but let's get into it start Hey there, Chief Autonaut Kayo here, streaming live from Denki Quadrant with progress on my thriving settlement. Like and subscribe. Following protocol, I've successfully programmed hundreds of worker bots to efficiently automate industries and take care of my growing folk community's needs. Here's some of those growing folk. Oh no! Evo, me hearties, this world and its glorious bounty be ours for the taken. But my stuff, they're destroying it. Uh oh. Irobot invasion detected. Transmitting distress signal. Auto not defense force vessel police. Responding. It's a little quick to read. Captain Zog, Stardate 1234. Arrived safely at Rigel the Seventh Settlement. Base camp obliterated. Commanding Autonaut missing. Presumed kidnapped. Little folk population. Wish I'd brought a brawly. Hey, Medic. How you medic! doing? Right. It did it. <laughs> yes. How long? Two years? Three years? What's a brawly? Is that a British thing? Remaining worker bots appear functional. Others likely recruited or recycled by pirate bots. Will endeavor to return Rigel the Seventh Settlement to its former glory ASAP. Hey, Wally. Good evening. Six hours today already, huh? This is my first look at it. That's not how that works. That Wally. Listen! We'll endeavor to return Rigel 7's settlement to its former glory ASAP. Well now, what do we have here? This world be under new management, matey. The Dread Pirate Robot be me name. And Plunder and Settlements be me game, that be, that'd be. Come visit me, Fortress, if ye dare. But first, you'll need to dance with me swaths of scurvy knaves. And me three best mates, so ye will. What a welcome! I'm Otto, and I'm here to help you. Oh, that's Otto. Not me. That's me. That's Otto. Those mechanical meanies have taken over this world and split it into five zones. 
You need to rebuild this base, assemble an army, and defeat the pirate bots to take back control. Oh, and rescue the kidnapped folk and your fellow Autonaut. Before you get going, you should familiarize yourself with essential Autonauting. Basic Field Manual Techniques and Procedures for Special Assets Designated Autonauts Confidential for Official Use Only Alright, see you in a bit, game. Medic. Game medic. <laughs> this special guide contains everything a budding Autonaut needs to know. Follow the advice inside to get to grips with basic automation and more. So these are the tutorials. Let's see, camera. The WASD to move the camera around. Use mouse, scroll wheel, or page up, page down to zoom in and out. If you ever lose yourself, press X to refocus the camera back on you. So we go way over here and X. Hold shift, middle click, then move the mouse to rotate the camera. Rotate. Shift R to reset the camera rotation to its default. New worlds need exploring. Left click on a destination and enter the shaded area. We need to discover basic tools and resources to get started. We need to discover them. So uncovered to some dark areas. Uh-huh. One. That'll do. Got a suggestion. We'll go here. That'll be tutorial one. Okay, now for the basics. Pick up one stone, left click on objects to pick them up, right clicking on the ground drops all objects held in your hands. Ooh, look at that. I have a health bar. It's exciting. Let's uncover something. Yes, I see the stone there. Can I have any stone? Yeah. It's just pointing out the clear, closest one. Got a stone. And only hold one type of object at once, so make use of your backpack to throw the empty stone in an empty slot. Press Q or click the icon. Oop. To retrieve the stone from your inventory when your hands are empty, press Q again or click on the icon. Click. Hold down Alt and hover your pointer over an object to see what actions you can perform with it. These can change depending on what you're holding. So I can left click here on a tree and right click to toss a stone to. Uh -huh. Okay, anyway, white outline on the tree shows you can use the stone on it. So you want me to chop it down? Trees chopped down. Chop, chop, chop. We don't need that stone now. Right clicking on the ground drops all objects held in your hands. Drop. You may not always need to follow every single part of a tutorial. Select this button to skip a step. <laughs> How do I skip the skip step step? Good. Obviously, you get the basics. As your technology evolves, you unlock blueprints to build structures, machines, and more. <coughs> Click on the icon or press E to access your structural blueprints. That's this. Structures may be built on clear surfaces. Let's build a simple workshop. Click the crude workbench blueprint to select it. Left click on the ground to place a selected blueprint and create a foundation. Press R to rotate the foundation beforehand. And I need logs and sticks, so let's put it near the logs there. Close the blueprint structural. Structural, structural blueprint menu. Select the parts needed to build a crude workbench. Right click on the foundation to add them. You can check what you need by hovering your pointer over the foundation. Just like the other game. Let's go build this. Get up. Get on. Get up. Get up. The menu. Ha! <laughs> it's named after the, uh, Beta testers. So we start off with some bots. New team, all bots. Oh, look at that! You can filter them based on whether they're idle, broken tool, no programs. That's awesome. 
Anyway, let's hide that for now. Uh, I still need a couple of sticks. Stick one, stick two. Rude workbench built. Nice! With this simple workshop, you can build basic tools and parts. Let's make a better chopping tool. Left click the crude workbench to access its blueprints. Click the crude axe blueprint to select it. Select the parts needed. Right click to drop parts in its place. This has a health bar too. See it? 2000 health. <laughs> All right, so a stick and a stone. Move back down here by our stone and grab a stick on our way. Backpack, stone, drop it on. Unbackpack, drop it on. Da -da 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 -da. Cool, your first tool. Click the crude axe to pick it up. Remember, you can press Q to stow what you're holding or right click to drop it. Chop a fallen log to make planks. Chop a plank to make poles. Planks and poles are essential parts for basic structures, machines, and bots. Yes. Hey, hey, sweet. You've obviously got the hang of this lumberjack malarkey. Those are the basics. There's a lot more to learn, and that's what I'm here for. When you see a button with my face on it, select it so I can teach you important lessons. Time to get your hands dirty. There's our missions. They're not plans this time, they're missions. Welcome to the Autonautopedia. Your handy reference for all tutorials, missions, plans, blueprints, and more. To access all this from the world, select the book, menu, or press tab. Your campaign begins right here with a first batch of missions from Autonauts HQ. These plans will help you focus on setting up basic infrastructure. Nice, they pinned them for me already. Hover your mouse pointer over a pinned mission plan to see what you need to do to complete it. Use those existing worker bots to help you get started. Absolutely. We can go into the Autopedia. There's the lesson. I'm guessing that's the same as ooh, collector cards. I don't have any cards. Is this missions, tutorials? That's cool. Better auto nodding defenses. All right. So, tree chopped down, soil dug, tree seed planted. Three of each. It's not counting the tree I already chopped down. That's a bummer. Um, let's do the tutorial. Sure. Let's get automating. Autonauts program bots to automate systems. I'm going to help you program a bot to do a job for you. To do this job, your bot needs its own crude axe. So let's make one. The blueprints are already selected, so just collect the parts and right click on the crude workbench to drop them into place. Oh, so A stone and a stick and drop them into place. Sticks and stones over there too. Ba -ba -ba. Pick up the crude axe. Right click on the bot to give it a crude axe. Ready to roll. Prepare to follow my instructions exactly. Got your crude axe ready? My crude axe. Press space to blow your whistle to get your bot's attention. This one. Because you were the first one here, is X. Game. Medic. We've also got Wally. We'll get you in a minute. Alright, so I gotta blow my whistle. Left click the bot to access its brain, which is currently empty. Do exactly as I tell you. Click the record button, then show your bot what to do. As it watches you, it will create a program to copy you. Okay, repeat exit. These are new. Stop tracking. 
So I call held item up and down, shout, swap items. Cool. Show it how to use a crude axe to chop down a tree. In your bot's brain, you can see instruction program instructions created. Okay, so go chop down a tree. Up, 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 up. Look at that. It's got the axe. Click the repeat button to add a loop to the bot program you created. Click the play button to run your bot program. Great! Your first automation! Your bot won't stop unless its tool breaks or it has no more targets in its search area. This is basically the same as the original game. Now we have a bot chopping down trees for us. Let's automate more. We don't need to see that bot's brain for now, so close it. The next job, you need to you need a crude spade, so let's make one. Left click the crude workbench to pick. Choose the blueprint. Ooh, we can already make all this stuff. Look at that. My backpack upgrade for myself. Um, my scooter, the data storage, the good signs. That's awesome. Starting off with all that stuff. Wait, the spade. Collect the parts needed to make a crude spade. Right click the word bank, drop it into place. Yeah. Okay. One moment, please. There's a bunch of sticks up here already. Food spade made. Pick up, pick it up. Right click on a bot to give it a new tool. I can do that, sure. Make another one for myself. Stick, stone, drop it. You made it! Alright, so we're going to get this bot here. This one, Master Guy, basically it. Wally1169. Record button. Let's program your new bot how to dig holes. Left click on empty soil to use a crude spade. I'm gonna do it here. Woo! Bots operate within defined areas, which you can edit. Click the bot search area button. You want your bot to dig where your lumber bot is working. Adjust the target area by dragging its corners and edges and close the menu to continue. Target, maximize the area, look at the area. Alternating. Do something like horizontal stripes and make this smaller for now. I just want this pretty much for the tutorial and nothing else right now. Repeat to go forever. Play button. Go. Look at that bot go. Hey, you almost have your first automated industry. To make the operation more sustainable, you need to grow trees. Blow your whistle so the bots, your bots pay attention to you. Let's see, one more and... We just need to plant three and our uh, plan will be done. Our mission. Right? Or I dug one. That was two and three. Whistles! Click a bot to access its brain, which is currently empty. Yeah. Exactly. Record button. Find a tree seed. You need to drop that. Find a tree seed. Left click on it. Pick it up. Right click on an exposed hole hole to drop the tree seed in it and start a new tree growth. Ta -da -da -da. Click the repeat button and play. Hey, check out that bot! Well done! You set up the foundation for your first fully automated system of forestry. It's not self-sustaining yet, but we'll get to that in later tutorials. I don't know if I can do all of these tutorials. Wasn't it the mission? Oh, that's why this is blinking. No? 
Nothing unlocked. Bummer. Tool workshop. Axes, spades, picks. I don't... I'm not going to... For this one, I'm not going to do the tutorial. I know how to... Automate tools. Automated tool making completed. Automated, more efficient. Yeah, sure. Let's do the tutorial, I guess. Tools inevitably wear out, as worker bots are quick to let you know. Let's automate a simple workshop to manufacture crude axes. Crude workbench. Blah, 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 blah. The whistle. Like a bot that's not doing anything at the moment. Record. Stored parts for your first ingredient. Left click on the stick storage. Take out a stick. Where's the. Oh, it's way up here. In that case, I move... can't move that right now. And the stick, crude workbench. Second and final ingredient, click on a stone. Go add it here. Once a crude axe has been made, select repeat, add a loop around the instructions. We'll do it forever. We don't want a towering stack of tools, so let's fix this right now. Click stop. Stop the bot recording. Now it's time to edit your program to make the tool making process more efficient. To edit the program and improve it with one simple trick. One simple trick. Clickbait. Select record. Select until question mark full. Anything new here? Ooh, bot count. That's new. Tracking. Um, until question mark full. Select the crude workbench, highlight in yellow, and this structure's output area is empty. Repeat to loop all that again. Now play to run it. Good. You've improved your automated tool making process. The next step is to teach a lumber bot. Take advantage of that. When a lumber bot's tool breaks, how does it get a new one? I can show you a clever solution to your problem. Blow your whistle to alert your bots. Select your lumber bot. It's this one. Stop to stop the program running. Select record. Clear. Pick up the crude bench from here. Crude axe from here. Repeat until hands full. Chop down a tree to remind your bot what to do with the crude axe. Select repeat to loop all the instructions. Click play to run the program. Now when your lumber bot needs a crude axe, it'll automatically take one from your tool workshop. So it'll do all this and repeat, and if its hands are full, it'll just skip that repeat and go and find the next tree to chop. Wait. You can see how bots and two independent systems can work together to make the whole operation more self-sufficient. Looking good so far. Only a few more systems to automate before this industry is self-contained. Okay, I'm going to put... My axes down here. I have so many of them. That was uh, part of the tool workshop. Make spades, because our digging bot needs one. So let's make... Oh, give it this one for now. Make that, Wally. Um... I need another one of these. 
The crates and pallets. Fences and gates. And the database. Ooh. Ooh. Basic. There's different versions of the bot database. Okay. Mixing pegs and everything. Okay. Um. Another one of these. Put there. Two logs, two sticks. That's not a stick or a log. That stick and a stick. Make this the fruit spade bench. I put these up here. So they're closer to the stick and stone storages. Yes, I see you, Blinken. So two more spades and some picks. Huh? I don't have enough bots yet for that, do I? Go ahead and set this one up. Make some spades. Let's do all that until the structure is full. Forever. Go. And then. Who's my digging pot, Wally? Heard me picking that up. Yar! And a chaos. What's up? So I had the hat at the beginning. And the sword. Yar! The hat doesn't stay on with the headset on, so I had to take it off. They call me yeah. They call me yeah. Thank you so much for the subscription. That's two months now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, till hands full, go get a spade. Oh. So Wally will pick up a spade on his own now. <laughs> Let's see. Um so just because it's a new game, I'm doing all the tutorials. Again, just noticing the new stuff, like um, you can filter based on whether they have a broken tool, no program, idle, the linked program changed, worker bots, defense bots. This is the new one, yes. Absolutely. Um, so like everything has health bars now because they can get destroyed. Yeah, there's filters. Um, I can start. There's different. You can build the database right away, pretty much. But it looks like there's different versions of it, so it unlocks more capabilities as you go. Um, these bots apparently don't need charged. I started with these already because pirates came in and destroyed the base that was already here and kidnapped the auto knot. So I'm the police bot here to go rescue everybody. Um, it's a database right away. Um, it's mostly the same. There's some new instructions you can put on them. Find one that's not doing anything. So there's some new conditions. I don't know what tracking does yet. Um, retrieve and stow items are just built in now. So I can add those without having to pick something up in QQ. Um, cycling items up and down, swapping held items. So that's that's definitely easier. Drop all. I don't have to do any of those commands anymore. Also, I think there were new conditions. 
I'm pretty sure these are new. So there's tracking or not tracking. And then there's bot count less than, bot count greater than or equal to. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I doing? I wanted to complete this tool workshop, which just means crude picks. So one more workbench. Couple of logs, couple of sticks. <laughs> yeah, it just released today. Um, for the first two weeks after this releases, the the if you own the game in Steam, the original game, I should say, Autonauts, you get fifty percent off this game for the first couple of weeks. So it's like ten U.S. dollars. So you buy it as a bundle, but because you already own the first one, you only it only costs you that's fifty percent off. Um new but actually Anna Chaos. This is Anna Chaos. You get to be my spade maker. No, my uh pick maker. I'm just doing it tutorial style for now, until I get automated bots. I can do this better. <laughs> so not forever, we're going to do it until the bench is full. And forever. Oh. Um, let me just trigger this make one more and that's my my last thing I need that up now I can put them back because we will need stones we will need sticks oh when the plans finish it doesn't tell you we're done I like before so these are the tutorials so many picks and then fail. <laughs> Probably. Nothing against you. Here's all the stuff stuff. Defenses. Ooh. Trebuchet. I'll, get, I'll look at that later. Plans. Nothing unlocked. Which ones unlock stuff? Uh, so instead of um, certificates and plans, you have missions. Set up bot manufacturing. Worker bot three and a half. 3.5 is apparently what we're working on here. All right. Yeah, yeah, it does look like it. I'm not sure how much um, of the, uh, the column folks, the colonists, all got kidnapped. I'm not sure how much of that stuff we need to build. You know, I need more than these ready-made bots to help you automate and defend. So let me show you how to make your own. First, you need a, to build a suitable structure. Access your structural blueprints. Select the blueprint for bot assembly unit and place the foundation in the world. It's planks and logs. I'll put them over here, close to the forest. Close the structural blueprint menu. Add the ingredients, two logs, three planks. So one log there, two log there. I need an X. I need three planks. I have to chop at least three logs here. I could probably pause my tree chopping, but I got plenty of tree chopping going on. Um, three planks, two, three. Nice. Now you're ready to make your own bot workforce. Time to make your first bot. Simply add the necessary ingredients to the bot assembly unit. Your bot will be made to order. 
worker bot. Mark 3.5. One log, three planks, a pole, and a tree seed. Me. Oh, I already have it. I'm gonna chop this one. To make poles. Chop this to make planks. Need one more plank for there. And then just a log. A plank. One. Two, three planks. And a tree seed. Yeah, up until this point, the gameplay is basically the same. You're making, um... Making a forestry, automating tools, automating bot making. Once you've completed the tutorials, why not make more bots to automate this process? Bots making bots, where will it all end? Right? And I wonder if they'll... If they'll make more, or make it like you can do customizable scenarios, that'd be cool. Look at that! I can make bots and have them automatically go into a team? Is that what that is? Huh. What am I doing now? Processing automation. Establish storage. Automate storage. Fine, let's do that. Well automated resource processing means more efficient construction industries. Let's set up a system to complement your forestry. We'll start by building somewhere to store your logs. <clears throat> so that'll be a pallet. One log, three planks, two poles. There's a pole. Three planks again? Yeah. I'm gonna need to chop one of these planks into a set of poles. So, plank, plank, plank. Pole. And a log. And there's our pallet. Good. You now have a focal point for your raw wood resource. Now, Show a bot to make use of it. Make sure you have a worker bot free, then blow your whistle to get the attention of it. I think I do. Yeah, these are idle. And when you hover a bot, it shows you the, the script. You can preview it. Make sure your hands are empty. Find a log and left click on it to pick it up. Uh huh. Drop it in here. Add a repeat loop. How many hands do they have? Click play to go. They have a bot collecting an essential resource. The next step is processing it. Build a structure to transform lumber. Lumber. So they start off with only four hands. But they have four backpack slots. Okay. So now we need the chopping block. I haven't made any of those yet. Is it in the world? I put my partially used axe on there. A log. Axe. Choose the output. Planks. Now have two core lumberyard structures in place. You're ready to get automating. Let's program a bot to use your new chopping block. You have a bot free. Blow your whistle to get your workforce's attention. I'd rather just select it. That's selected. Record. 
Left click a log storage to take a log. Right click on the chopping block to edit. Yeah, they start off as three and a half. Um, but mark three and a half, I guess. Worker. Once the planks are created out of repeat loop, select stop instead of play. We don't want this bot to get started just yet, otherwise it'll make a mountain of planks. It's a handy trick to convert logs into planks only when they're needed. The same thing you did before. So until the chopping block's not empty and re then repeat forever. I'll go. Cool. It'll only make logs when the output's not empty. Repeat it to expand it to include plank processing for planks and flows. Alright. Um, make a box for tree seeds. We have. And not Wally. Um, game medic is chopping stuff. Let me put an if on this to say if. Our log storage is not full. That way we don't get this whole mess up here. Um, four planks, four poles. I got a plank down here. Got these poles and that pole. I got another plank there. Plank. An axe. Wait, no, I don't need to make more planks. I just need to make poles. With the axe. Once I get poles automated, I'm going to automate making worker bots. Just to jump into that. When not empty? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like... Oh, got a plank there. I didn't put on it apparently. Okay. Think, think, think. Yeah, then the the negative conditions I don't like as much. It's like I'd rather say if something is full rather than saying if something is not full. The axe down. Last pull on here. This will be our tree seed storage. And we'll have this bot. You're going to be Tree Seed Stow. I can't keep the names forever. Tree Seed Stow. Um, going to find tree seeds in this area. Do it till your hands are full if you can. You're not going to do that. You're going to... Um, hold on a second. Put a tree seed. Put them into the box. Till your hands are empty. Oops. Go ahead. Then we'll have another bot putting tree seeds in the ground. Or, um, yeah. yeah absolutely what I meant. Um, we got planks. We need a pallet for planks and a pallet for poles. We need a chopping block for poles. We'll need fixing pigs eventually, but not yet. Let's see. I guess I got logs right down here. Let's move this down. One log. Three planks. Two poles. Huh. 
I got my guy turns when I rotate my mouse. I just noticed that. One, two, three. One pole. Need two of them. Get the axe. Just chop both of these into poles for now. When storing things, you can put the move to storage, add to storage until hand's empty. Instead of move to storage being in it. Yeah. I think the reason I did that, or I've usually done it this way, is because if I move the storage while they're waiting to put something in, they'll get stuck there if the if um you know what I mean? Like if where's the this one? Hands full, hands empty. Which bot was that now? Tree seed stuff. There it is. That's it. So if I ever move the tree seed storage, shh, hush, hush. If I ever move the tree seed storage, I mean, I guess I could put like a an, in case of error. Because if I move the tree seed storage while it's trying to add it, it won't then move to it again. I'm pretty sure. We got 20. That's the only reason I usually do it this way. It's like it's usually fast enough. I wonder if I do the this till hands empty, but put the exit on fail. So it'll drop back out to the move. See if that causes any issues. Um, so this is where we're going to put our planks. Do we have to walk the planks? <laughs> Snork, you are log stone. Make a team for that. We gotta figure out a way to get everybody's names in here. Cheesy dad joke is cheesy. I have to. Rarely reorganize. You are. Old dig. Look at you making the names a lot longer than you used to be able to. Old dig. What are you making again? Food picks. Um, so take planks and put them in here. Who's not doing anything still? Xander, you are going to be Plankstow. Uh, I'm going to take from here, put in here. Um, you can do the retargeting from the beginning. For the search area and storage stuff, that's nice. Hands full, it's fine if they're not. Move here until hands are empty. Maybe I do a try this hands empty speed style. Forever go. So it'll do one the first time. Yeah, I can keep people's names in the long thing. So that at least seemed to work. That'll kick off our forestry again as we fill up the planks. Sounded like a plan finishing. Part of one anyway. Planks stored. 
Oh, fixing pigs are part of this again already. Hmm. Need to build one more chopping block. And I'll need a crate for fixing pigs. Just put that over here. Alright, um, axes and logs. I should get, um, get collecting of the sticks and stones and stuff here too. One thing at a time. Um, a log. Should have moved these closer. Log for here. One log for here. Let's move these over here near the axes. Frames and panels? Oh my gosh, yeah. They use so many fixing pegs. Okay. So poles, fixing pegs. Um, let me get these done. Two holes right here. And three planks. One, two, three. Plank, plank, plank. Right, we have to reprogram our tree planting bot. Hole here and just put it over here. Over her. Holes. Move you down here. I'll put these all in a line later. Just for now, move it this way. Um, these are planks and poles. I can just put that over here. That'll be fine. Okay. Farm. Wooden mallet. Any tree bashed. Stick stored. Stick farm. Um, so storing poles and then storing fixing pegs, and that plan will be done. Then, but once I get poles in storage here, I can automate the bot making. So let's do that. I've got everything in storages, yeah. So should have one more free bot, one last free bot. All right, you don't have to charge the bots. I don't know if you noticed. Because they're already three and a half, mark three and a half, they're, they just come out charged and you never have to recharge them. Um, take a plank, put a plank. I'm gonna do this until hands full. Um, empty your hands onto it, but only do that if the storage here is empty, the chopping block. So it'll make a whole bunch of pulls at once, because it'll drop four planks on at a time, it'll make eight poles at a time, and go fill up its hands. And I actually think I'm going to move it down here, too. Have it move down here, whether that's empty or not, just so it's ready to start chopping right away. This will be... pole planks, because it's bringing planks. I can do the plural since it's... We have the longer names now, that's nice. It'll move here, but it won't do anything else yet. Let me make one bot for this. You can... You can go away, go away. Um, three planks, wasn't it? One, two, three... One, two, three. Um, a log and a tree seed. Let's go get a seed from here. And a log. Um, 
this spot, I should make the tree planting spot. Just so we don't run out of logs. Get that. Put it here. Oh, that is a huge area. <laughs> I need a sign. That's what I need for that. Um, hands full, if you can. Find the nearest hole. Do this until your hands are empty. Let's shrink this a bit. <laughs> yeah. What was it again? 35 by 35. Oh, and there's a new feature, too. You can actually move the areas into the dark areas so you don't run into that thing where it bumps there and stops. Something like a 7x7? Seven seven? Yes. Close enough. The holes there, right? One more out. One more out. Like that. I need signs. Pretty sure those are unlocked already, too. I just need to get there. Uh, go ahead and go. Tree seed planter. <laughs> yeah. If I was digging the holes for it, it would. Um, let's go name everybody again. Log stow, plank stow, pull planks. You are... I need to name the structures, too. I can't tell what people are doing. You are making planks. Plank locks. You are loud. Shush. Sticks and... Axes. And game medic is chopping trees. Tree chopper. That gets tiny. <laughs> How much can they hold? They have four hands and four backpack slots. So yeah, technically we could stow it in the backpack. Pull it out again. So they could store one in their hands and one in their backpack. Let's do it that way. Um, before I do that, let me just name stuff. It bothers me not having them named. What's this? This is the plank trapping block. We have tree seeds um this will be for I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do the tree seed planting differently but we'll get there we'll get there um this is planks holes um whole chopping block I mean, you'd think so, but we can just test it. I don't think so, but what's this? Um, peg chopping block. Where are you? Think logs. All right, so we've got lock. I never named, renamed that. Um, I don't like the tutorial code. Move here, fill up your hands, and do a uh, stow held item in its backpack too. And come here and do until hands are empty with a retrieve on it. <laughs> It looks like it's only doing one. 
Knighted hands, full hands empty. I forgot the condition. So do, um... This part gets an if around it. That's nice. You didn't... You, it used to be you couldn't do that. Select something and then click if to have it pop in. Like that. So if the... This is the plank making pot. Yeah, so if the chopping plank chopping block is empty, empty your hands onto it. So it'll do like a batch of those. And yeah, it looked like it was only doing one in the backpack, one in the hands. So next, we're, we're, we're doing our forestry just fine. We're doing planks. We need someone storing poles. That's what our next bot bot will be. We'll grab a pole. Just have it make some more. Um, three planks, two, two, three. Get a tree seed analog. This worker bot will be our plank stow bot. You pick those up, you put them on here. So repeat until your hands are full. It's fine if they're not. Do this until your hands are empty. And again, with the hands empty, forever go. I could use the backpack slots, but I think this will be fast enough. So now that we have all of our bot parts automated, I can start automating the bots. Let's do that. Um, pull stow. Teams. Need to make teams. Good picks. Hole dig. Log stow. Forget what this bot is doing. Tree chopper. Tree seed planter. Tree seed stow. You all are the forestry. This looks different. I guess bring the whole team to you, disband. I wish she could do more colors. Yeah, start over with the tutorials. Yeah, some of them it's like, I want to skip these, but maybe they'll show me something that's new. All right, we're f holes are full already. Nice. Keeping up nicely. Let's make some. Oh, you are making spades. Okay. Axes, spades, and picks. Where are you? Where'd you go, Anna? Crude picks. It'll be tools. Not calling you a tool. Thanks. And poles. Everybody's on teams. Nice. Okay, now our bot making bots. I need a bot. One pole. One, two, three planks. Tree seed and a log. All right, you 
going to be my first bot making bot. I think I'm going to do what I usually do and do tree seeds. And have the tree seeds be the control. Like the, the thing that checks whether there's something empty. Everybody else will just empty their hands on here. So tree seed. And put it on here. So that'll be fill up your hands. This will be empty your hands. But only do this if the mach the bot assembly unit one is empty. Do that forever. There you go. This is bot tree seeds. So I next need to get the poles planks and a log. Pull. Plank, plank, plank. I kind of enjoy this bot automating process because it's it's like I'm making the bot manually each time, but there's one less step for me personally each time. This bot, let's make this one do logs. Go get a log, take it, tree, no, not retrieve, stow. Um, do that until your hands are full. Come over here, add to the bench, and retrieve. Um, Till your hands are empty. Forever go. Bot logs. It's weird when I hit enter. It went down. Maybe I still had S held down a little bit when I hit enter. All right. A pole and some planks. Mm-hmm. That one, two, three. Oh. All right. Um, this bot is going to be bringing planks. I clicked the wrong button. Move to planks, take from planks, move to here, put on here. This can just be hands full, hands empty. Maybe I do this again. Just to speed it up a little. But planks. This is the only one that has to do multiples out of all of these. So doing that shortcut should help. Um, one pull. Could have just brought it with me. Take that one. Thank you. Drop it on there. And you. Put holes. Put them on here. Yeah, I haven't tried the bot amount conditions at all yet. Not sure what that's for, or the tracking. Um, this will just be hands full, hands empty. I don't need to do a speedy shortcut for it. Because it's just one pull for the recipe. Bot pulls, and now we have bots automated, automated. I like just having one sitting here waiting. I don't like having a whole bunch of them. Because by the time I'm done programming one, they're already done making the next one. I've seen people do like, do a loop of 10 and then cut back. Oh yeah, the bottom out conditions, probably. 
I imagine you want, you want your defense bots to maintain a certain number of them. Um, fixing pegs. Yeah. Okay, I did the... But I finished robotics. Did not unlock anything. Lumber yard, I just need to do the fixing pegs. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that's right, Anna. Stone mine. Oh, that would be an easy one to automate. We have automatic bots now. It's awesome. Bot, 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 bot. You are bots. One of the next things I like to set up usually is uh, blueprints. But I still need to stow sticks for my tools, and I need to stow stones for my tools, which means I should get stones being made. Get one bot storing. Let's find all the stones and clean this area up. Yeah, that's as big as it gets. We'll start you up here. There's just stones all over. Get those couple. There's a few in the middle of the base. And then we'll trim it down to be just this later. Um, we'll put it in stone storage here. Hands full, if you can. If not, that's fine. Go up here and hands empty. Forever go. Stone stow. This will be clean up. I might put a temp in front of it. Just so I remember, I need to change the area. Um, something went ding. Oh, stones being stowed, I think. Yeah. Stones stored. I wanted to see if, let's see, two logs, two sticks. I move this. One, two. Fuck on my shoe. Two sticks. I want to see if I can make signs already. Pretty sure I saw them. Yes. This is all the stuff that's unlocked already. I can already make my Better backpack, my scooter, crude data storage, and the good signs. That's just two planks and a pole. Get two of these. No, just one of these. And then they have the one. Good. Two planks. I got cleanup crew for all the stuff you drop everywhere. <laughs> oh, there's a signs menu. Look at that. Shout the sign. I'm gonna just click on it. That's cool. It's also 35 by 35. See, this I just want to be 5 by 5. That's so much easier to use. Can I tab now? I can tab. Didn't used to be able to tab between these. That annoyed me. So this is um, the stone mine. Stone pit. Stone mine. You can assign a team to the sign. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, have you seen that setting? Let me show you. Go into the settings. Align signs. Signs always face the camera. Best setting ever. 
Ooh, there's some stuff. These, I couldn't see these earlier. They were locked. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, move this down here. Well, let me put it on turf, actually. So yeah, no matter how I turn, the sign is facing forward. Ooh. Um. Yeah, I'll just put it here for a second. For the moment. But I want not linked. I want it to be just here. Check. Stone mine. Okay, um... I clicked show team and didn't do anything. So I change this or find an X area to be the same. It should, you would think. Of course, that would be tricky. It might just show who's using the sign. Because if you're picking up from a sign and putting where a sign is or something like that. Yeah. I can put that down now. Uh, huh. so you are done finding stones and storing them. Let me just move this all the way down here. Yeah, trying to leave most of my turf area, the, the spots I want to turf over, still there. Uh, temp stone stow. Stop, record. You are going to use the sign. Thank you. There you go. So now if I go look at stone mine, show the team. Okay, it makes a temporary team with all the bots that are on it. Where is it though? It ended up at the box when it was up here. I was kind of hoping it would do like the green arrows to show me the lines where things were. I think it's that one. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. Um, I can remove the temp there. And this worker bot will be doing some picking. Get crude picks. I'm use it down here. Stone deposit in stone mine. That's you. You can take that. Um, I like doing an if-else for this. If hands are empty, go get a pick. Otherwise, find a stone deposit I missed. <laughs> and use it forever. Go. Stone. Pick. Er. Now if I go to signs and say show team. I guess it's showing them here, kind of. They're both selected anyway. Let's see, idle bots. Just that one. No program. That one. Open tool, nobody. Linked program, that sounds fun. Stone mine. Yeah, dark gray. Um. So we got the uh, stone thing done. We must not have gotten anything unlocked from it. Last thing then is the fixing pegs. It's four planks, four poles. This.
And I really want a blueprint area soon. This is our fixing pegs. Did I rename this? Yeah, pig chopping block. Cool. Let's get on that. Because we know we will need them. Come here. Might as well do a stone retrieve. I don't know. Stow held item, swap held item, all shout. Okay. Um. Repeat till hands are full. Drop on here. And then retrieve. Or wait till I'm done working. Retrieve. Do that until hands are empty. Forever go. Oh, nope. I have a condition to put on that fixing peg. Holes. Stop. I want to put an if around this to say if the peg chopping block is empty. But also move down here anyway. So that you're at your workstation ready to work. Okay. And you, my friend. I'm gonna pick up pegs and put them in here. That's hands full if you can. Hands empty. Hands empty. The fail. <clears throat> Fixing peg. Stop. Is that all the plans? Just the stick farm left. Well, the missions, not plans. Never did do the stone mine. Um, tutorial. He's just gonna keep blinking forever. I'll just skip through it. Second and final key ingredient for crude tools is stones. Time to automate a sustainable supply. So you're gonna make a workbench for pick. Make it. Place it. Close the menu for it. Food workbench built. Structure accessed. Food pick. Make a pick. So, we're... We're doing all that ready. Congratulations, me! Connect a bot to store stones. Pick up a stone. Click on the stone storage. Repeat. Ta-da! I'm gonna automate a crude pick tool chain and teach a miner bot to get a new tool when it needs one. Yeah, I did. For the stick farm, we need a mallet. Going to make a mallet and bash trees to make sticks. Um, I need to store sticks. I'm already running out of stuff. So, I have a job for you, Nubot. You guys are fixing pegs. You get to find a stick. Get the stick. That's the stick. That's the the full area. Are there any sticks? Yeah, they spawn along the beaches some. I get those couple up there. That doesn't cover my forestry all the way. Nah, I don't need to be that big. Okay. Pick up all the sticks you can. And put them in the stick box. It's hands full, if you can. Hands empty. Hands empty. In case the structure moves, go. 
Stick stow. Yeah, the nighttime, darkness, rain, all that stuff. It's just, I don't know, variety. We got grass, bush, cereal crops. The trees look different. I haven't seen any mushrooms yet, have I? Some flowers. All right, have a good dinner. What do I want to do next? Um, mallets. I wanted to do the this last stick farm tutorial. A more reliable supply of essential resources. Let's start with sticks. It's already did stones. Okay, select the inactive bot. Record exactly what it has. Right click the stick storage. What am I doing? Huh. It, it, because a bot picked up stones and stored them, it counted that as recording it. So let me do that. There's a stick way over here. Pick up a stick. Oh, come on. You're not letting me put the instructions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna skip this. We're gathering sticks already. We know how to gather sticks. That one down, they'll get it. Okay. Error! Nice! You taught a bot how to find and store sticks? Of course, it'd be better if our stick supply was even more reliable. But how do we do that? The best way to find out what you need to know is to consult the Autonautopedia. Open it. It's not the Autonaut tab. Let's find out where sticks come from. Use the blueprint button, select the parts category, then select stick. As you can see down there, a stick can be made by using a mallet to bash a tree. It's got the old tree model. The pine trees. Um, select the mallet. See how to make it. Something like that. Wah! Why not set up automated mallet production and teach a bot to harvest sticks for you? That would make your stick farming even more efficient. Okay. And that's all of the tutorials in the basic field manual. Does that unlock anything finally? An official stamp. Check out the other field manual in this series for more handy tutorials from yours truly. Okay. Ah. One more tutorial to go before your forestry operation needs even less of your ongoing attention. Okay. What is it? Or is it the stones? What I was talking about. <laughs> I'm not seeing any more tutorials. Farm. Make a mallet and bash some trees. That'll complete Operation Groundwork missions. CD biz. Trading? Defense mission. Oh, the, uh, it's there. It's a transmitter, I guess. Not sure what it's for. But yeah, I haven't gotten any, um, commemorative slabs yet. Ah, uh, let's make a wooden mallet. What did I, I need the workbench. Yeah, I'll make another workbench. There for the logs and two sticks. Should have brought those with me. This up here. Let's 
stick, stick. Wooden mallet is one log and one pole. Let's do... Oh, stick stow, you go under the forestry. You are going to make the wooden mallets. So... Um, poles will be the easy controller. Take from poles, put on here. Do a, uh... Repeat until your hands are full. Um, I guess I could also do... Like, a hands full like that. So I can try... Taking. This until hands empty. But, only do this if... The wooden mallet bench is empty. Cool. Wooden mallet holes. This spot will be wooden mallet logs. And add to here. Um, this will be hands full, hands empty, with a uh, stone retrieve. Add it in just for fun. Forever. Wooden mallet logs. These are wooden mallets. Just checking up on something real quick. All right, wooden mallets. Cool. Uh, I just need to bash some trees. Trying to decide how I want to do this. Because so I want to be sneaky with it, I think. Pick up a mallet. This is if your hands are empty. Go get a mallet. Um, you're going to use the mallet on the tree. Oh, that one's still growing. Need to make a forestry sign. Like an eight by eight. Up one, over one. Shrink it a bit, expand it a bit. Sure. Take that. Okay. So what I want to do is find a stick in that same area. Ugh. Right there. But I only care actually about the stick. I'm going to do this. I did this trick in um, regular base game. I'm going to do a forever loop here with a drop through on fail. So if I can't find, basically it'll loop forever on finding a stick. As long as it can find a stick, it'll keep looping until it can't find a stick in this area. Then I'm gonna put an if around this to say if the 
Um, stick storage is not full. Go bash a tree. So that way, if there are sticks laying on the ground already, it's not going to go around and create a bunch more sticks. But it's also not going to hit a tree if the stick storage is full. So we're finding sticks. But if we collected up all these sticks that are in here, it would start getting stuck on this part. So stick storage as well. All right, that's complicated. Um, bash trees for sticks. You're on the forestry team. That's like a fail safe in case we don't get enough sticks from chopping these anyway. I could do the same with the tree seeds for bot making. I kind of don't want to right now. I'm going to get on to some newer stuff, to be honest. Let's go exploring a bit, maybe? What do I still need? Oh. Need to bash some trees. Two more trees. I'll just do that myself. Bash one. Bash two. Fancy! Well done. They're all dancing. It's like we dancing. We fit dancing. Well done. You completed all of the plans needed to set up your basis core systems. You're ready to move on to the next phase of your campaign. Operation CD Biz. I don't know. HQ has put together a new series of missions for you to complete. To fund your defense campaign, you need gold. Gold, arr. Which means you need a reliable income stream. Let's start with this mission plan to set up arable farm. Find a wild cereal crop. There was one over back behind here. Harvest it for seeds to get started. You've also unlocked the next Autonauts field manual. Check out the new tutorials available in the Autonaut update. Autonautopedia sounds like onomatopoeia. Ooh, look at the defenses. The piggy bank. Defense Research Center. Select a brief and use pieces of 8-bit. Pieces of 8-bit. To research new technology. Was that a dad joke game? Come on. Silo. What's what's the new tool? Rude blades and flails. Alright, um What's in a name? Naming a bot. Better auto-nodding manual. Check out the field manual for new tutorials you might find useful. Seasoned autonauts give their bots unique names to make it easier to identify them as their numbers grow. Let's name the three main bots in your forest operation. Select the tab to open your bot tracker. Select your lumber bot, yeah. Name a bot. We've been doing that. There are colonists. They all got kidnapped by the pirates. So I'm going to have to rescue them. That's all I know about it so far. Name the others after you complete the tutorial. Bots are even easier to manage if you put them in teams. I did that already. Added three bots. Success! Handy team of named bots. Nothing unlocked for that? That's a bummer. Lumber storage. Okay. Yes, we have to rescue the colonists. 
was the More efficient if your lumberbot didn't waste time and tools, felling trees when there are plenty of logs in storage. <laughs> it's gonna have me stop chopping when this is full. Full in Autonauts programming is considered at least 95% of capacity. That's something that I see questions on like the subreddit or Discord a lot. People asking, it's not all the way full, why did it stop? So they stopped chopping trees. If that look the log pilot, yeah, I already did that. Yes, most basic. So that's all those. I need the serial and automated programming. That sounds interesting. Defenses are after that. Arable farming. Crude blade. Cut some cereal. Flail the cereal. To thresh it. Sow some seeds. Build a small silo and store the seeds. We can do that. Um, there's some other things I want to do first. Yeah. Maybe combine it with the original tutorial. I don't know how overwhelming that would be for totally new people. Since this is a separate game, they're making it, you know, they're expecting people who haven't played Autonauts to play this some, maybe. Um, I think it's time to start reorganizing. First, let me get some signs. Good sign. You are going to get thanks. Yeah, going back and editing the same one again and again, that would be tedious too, yeah. Oh, your hands are full. Um... Until your hands are empty. Until your hands are empty. Forever. Go. This is good sign. Planks. This will be good sign poles. Get a pole. Come up here. Uh, hands full. Hands empty, but only do this part if the good sign workbench is empty. Do that forever go. Good sign holes. New team. Good signs. Let's see. Sticks are good. Everything looks good. What I want to do is start turfing. So I have nice areas to work with. And... Then I can rearrange things. So, on that order, we're going to make a turf farm. Um, planner mode. I, I kind of want my turf farm to start out of the way here. I got like this 3x3 three three here. This turf farm. <laughs> I might. I don't know. Hate is such a strong word. Um, Shift P? No, just Control P. There we go. 
to toggle those on and off. Control P. Sign. Go put it here. And edit it to not link. Three by three. Richer. Random holes, bare spots, materials, tools, scattered things. Yeah. <laughs> Blank! Oh, that, that stinks. Didn't keep it. Three by three. Turf! And put it there. Okay. Now I don't need I need this anymore. Um Actually, let me make two crates. Just for now. Great crate. That's great crate. Great crate. I'm just going to want a nice clean area to build stuff on and do my blueprints. That's the next thing I want so that I can just... Oh yeah, I need a crate. Yeah, I just have blueprint bots making them. One, two, three, and four. Alright, so turf farm is there. Oops, I need to move command to that. That'll be for replanting. This will be for exporting. To be turf and I want to do this differently this time. Instead of doing the turf box and a turf export, I'm just going to have one turf box. And I'll program the bots to plant first, and then any extras they have will go in the box. Get a spade. Find turf. Pick it up. In a sign. You can take that. So if hands are empty, go get a spade. Otherwise, put an if the box is not full. If turf is not full, go dig some up. Do that forever and go. Turf farm dig. Yes, bot. It's going to find nearest turf dug in the sign area. And fill up its hands if it can. Then it's going to plant that in the turf area. As long as it can. Fill its hands are empty with a fall through. Then. It'll move to the box and store it until its hands are empty, if it can. If, uh, 
That way, if it empties its hands here, it won't even do the move to turf and add to it. Um, I do want the drop through on this. In case the box is full, it'll go pick up a few more. Then try coming back here. Do all that forever. This is turf farm. Plant and stow. These long names might be dangerous for me. So it'll take a little while to catch up. But we'll eventually have a box of turf. Meanwhile, let's get a bot. This will be first bot in our cleanup crew. We're gonna get turf. And, huh, I'm going to plant it basically anywhere for now. Um, but I don't want you doing anything in the turf farm area yet. Can't make it any wider. That'll do for now. So go fill up your hands if you can. Until your hands are full. Eat until your hands are empty. <clears throat> Do that forever. Just to make things a little bit nicer. Okay. This is our turf herder. Um, each dig has a chance of making two. One or two. So sometimes it does one, and it'll pick it up and just replant it. Sometimes it'll make two. So far it's only doing one each time. Now that I'm watching. A watched turf never doubles. Hmm. This is our turf farm. Give me that color. There, it made two. <laughs> Now, if I could make the besom room already, that'd be pretty awesome. I could sweep all this random crap up. Um, cereal. We were supposed to be doing cereal. I want to make a forestry. Like a serious forestry. Um, logs. I think I'm going to do like logs, planks, poles going away from the forest. So... Just shift things over here. Holes somewhere over here. These are tools. I can get out of the way. These are poles. Planks. Nope, that's not planks. Signs. My plank chopping block. There it is. Something like that. So they can move diagonally there. And then out comes the planks here. And poles can go here and here. I've never fit them before like together like that before. I like that. The only thing I don't like is I can't do like a road straight down. I'd have to bots would have to go one to the side and over. Um, there, and fixing the pegs. 
Nice. What are you? Oh, stones. That's fine. You're good. It's dirt. It can't sue you. That sounds like, uh, what is it when it's written down? Libel. That's libel. They're calling it dirt. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to need more chopping blocks in the future. For sure. Trying to decide how big I want my forestry to be. It's right now it's just three rows. What is it? Three by six? That's a weird, weird number there. Um, what do I usually do? The basic bot is 13 by 13 with its search area, so you have to do 11 by 11 to leave the border around it. I guess I'm comfortable with the familiar and would rather do that. I'm also afraid to explore too far. I don't want to uncover robots or uh, pirates and have them coming after me already. Nine by nine was good. All the way over here if I can. Cannot. Uncover over to here. That looks interesting. Look at that. But there's a wall there. You can hear something too. Do I explore? Yes, I do. Oh, pirates! Jump scare. Uh oh, pirate bots! Looks like this outpost is still guarded. I bet that. Crumbly old boss tower is using captured folks' sadness to power the force field surrounding this zone. Look, there's one of the babies. Those pirate bots won't give up without a fight. You're going to need the right support and tools to remove them. New pirate bot identified. Skell. Basic melee threat. Can be troublesome in greater numbers. Damage 13. Ground units. Damage 3, 2. So down here I'm reading. Damage is ground units 13 and structures for 3. And senses 9. You want to use their sadness. That would be so much easier. Just don't feed them. Health 500, speed 4. Okay. So, uh, uh-oh. They're coming after me. Okay. <laughs> it went back in. I wonder how close I need to be to trigger them if I just go inside the force field. Oh, they see me. Sense 9x9. Nine nine. No houses. No food. So much sadness. And they're free. You just keep cranking out a tall stack of babies from the incubator. <laughs> it's hilarious. So let's... Huh. That blank sign is already right there. Let's set up a proper forestry. Uh, uh. And let's see, I want to do, I'll go ahead and do the 13 by 13, just because that's what I like. And it'll be here. Like that. Uh, 
And my forest will expand that way. But yeah, camera mirrors, right? This is our forest try. Do not forest try. Do or do not. And did I, is it still linked? It's still linked. I wanted to move. Okay. So. They call me Dev. They call me Dev. They call me Dev. Hey, Wally. They call me Dev. That's not my name. My name is Dev. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. Whoop, whoop. Hey again. I'm going to shout you out again. The Jeff's on yes. <laughs> Alright. Um blah, 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 blah. Where's my horse tree? Old Digger Wally, you are going to look for soil to dig in the forestry. Actually, that's not quite right. You need to do the 11 by 11 with stripes. Like so. Did I click the wrong thing? There's not enough stripes. Okay. Check. What's up with... Picking up crude spade from the spade thing, finding soil in there. <laughs> Wally digging himself into a hole. Yep, sounds like Wally. Is that just because I'm standing on the sign? Do you have two areas? What happened? No target. Just that. Where's on stripes? Okay. I wonder if that's a bug. I signed a, a sign area. And then got rid of it. And the sign area is still showing. Let me try... Let's save. This is... One. Let me try exiting and getting right back in. Not fighting the pirates. Or joining them. They got it right when they harnessed colonist sadness instead of catering to the useless skits. I wonder though. So fun. I wonder. If it's like a Monsters, Inc. situation, where the happiness is more powerful than the sadness. You have one thing looking at the sign and one thing looking at an area. But I only had the one bot selected. No love. You use proper coins this time the research or is it trading yes um i had wally selected and he was already doing the smaller area in stripes and then his area over here but i set the area to the forestry sign and then switched it back to its own manual 11 by 11, and it was showing both of those. It seemed like it was bugged. Yeah. Um, so all of our 
Ash for sticks, stop and record. You can look at the sign. See, it's showing both. Well, no, it's it does actually does have multiple areas. Sign, forestry. Check, check, check. Okay. E Ontario Gardener, what's happening? This game is about sadness. <laughs> so we found our pirates, our first uh pirate thing here. We've got a force field and they've got one of the colonists on it. The colonist sadness is powering the force field. <laughs> awesome. Yes, Anna's making me try all kinds of things. It's, you might say, chaos. Ah! An abandoned outpost? Should be a pirate bot. Outposts are usually swarming with dangerous pirate bots. With the right support and tools, you can remove threats, take back the space, and claim the spoils. There aren't any pirate bots here now, though. So why not see what's in the chest? Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Okay. There's the screen. That must be the force field they're talking about. See? Pirates have it so easy. They don't feed them, take care of them. So I just click on it. Outpost strength, zero. Outpost strength, 1,500. We got the uh, skell bots here. Um, I think I can see those here. Yes, skells. So they have like stuff there. Oh yeah, it's probably a mimic, right? It's like a trap. <laughs> outpost reclaimed. You captured your first outpost and got pieces of 8-bit. Wonder what secrets will be unlocked by researching this special pirate technology. So what was that? That's the strength. So yeah, tear those down. I guess. Can I just delete them? No. <laughs> There's a trap. Anyhow, um, log storage, we need to update this, hands full, if you can, put a stow in here, move to log storage until your hands are empty, with a retrieve here. And the whole reason I came in here was to assign this to the sign. Forestry sign. Check. Go. Logs. Um, what job do you want to do, uh, Ontario? Some kind of gardening, I'm assuming. Stick stow. There's stick in the forestry. You want to pick berries? I haven't started harvesting berries yet. I'll, I'll keep that in mind, though. Um, game medic is our tree chopper. Stop. Board. You're going to chop trees in the forest tree. Tree seed planter. Um, yeah. Forestry. Plant those. Go. And tree seed storage. I'm gonna find seeds in forestry. Nut collector. Okay. 
There you go. I'm not Collector, the Ontario Gardener. You make the names a lot longer if you didn't notice. I've got a pirate hat. Doesn't fit over my headset. Duck down. And Yar, me sword. Are those from the kids? We got a turf farm going, so we can re-turf some of this. Make it fit. I could. They already tore it. It's held together by these clips. You know, kids can't have nice things. <laughs> we'll make it fit. Um, basic lumber going. Move it down one. Ah, uh, bots are in the way. I just want to put it somewhere where there's. Well, I'm not even turfing this area anyway yet. Had to make the old man a hat fit. <laughs> Grab that. Where am I coming from? Way over there. I guess I could keep exploring, since there's a force field that'll stop me. I won't be able to run into areas I shouldn't be yet. With that green force field. These skull bots, like this one's patrolling. And once I get within a certain range of it, it sees me and starts chasing. But I run faster than it does. Oh, there's the force field. It probably just goes straight across, huh? Look at the stars! Oh! Another abandoned cache. Cool. Bang, 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 bang. Is this? Oh, that's the pieces of eight. Okay. Eight bit. Sorry. Eight bit. Okay, so that's our area for now. I have to topple this to take down that force field before I can expand past this. That makes sense. I know where I... what area I have to work in, and I can get on that. Um, Let's see. Arable farming. I was supposed to do Rude blades and stuff. Oh, blueprints. That's the one. That's the thing. Blueprints. Planning. A new area for blueprints here. Um, I don't want them to be too far away, but I haven't turfed, turfed a nerf yet. I want it to be... I, I like the 13 by 13. It's almost maybe too big. No, oh, blueprints. Put it like right here. Just move this other stuff out of the way later. Um let's make some pots. So I want, what do I need? I'm going to need a silo. I'm going to need a workbench to make crude blades. I'm going to need a workbench to make flails. I make walls and stuff already. What was this? Oh, the bot workbench. Or a uh, bot database. Absolutely. I want that. And the spaceport. Alright, so it's... Oh, that's big. I've never done the sp spaceport in the regular game. I know it's there, but... I've never done it. This is another way to get gold. Pieces of 8-bit. Let's move this way out here. And these things can move out of the way. They're just kind of random stuff for now, anyway. I'm gonna leave. Whee. 
Sticks can go closer to other stuff there. All right. Blueprint bot time. I love the blueprint bots. Where are you going? Oh, I'm way up there. So, first of all, let's do logs because those are annoying. Oh, I'm just taking a long time to get there. Yeah, yeah. Move to it and take from it. Stow. Um, toss it on any blueprint here. And I forgot the sign. Um, do a retrieve. This will be hands full. target. Hands empty. We can't find a blueprint, that's fine. Move forever. This is logs. Blueprint. Need a sign for that area. Let me go get that. and put it up here. This is blueprints. Don't link the area. It's a 13 by 13. Right, share. Okay, and put it there. Stop and record. You are going to be assigned a sign there. Nowhere else. Okay, now go. We're bringing logs to all the things that need it, which is all the things. Next up, we can do poles. Get poles till your hands are foals. In this one, I'm going to do the fancier thing. You don't need them. Blueprint in the blueprint sign area. And so this is hands full. Try doing the quicker one. Nope, not that. Hands, hands full. Let's do, do the hands empty. the fall through and I think I had to do it this way I want to do hands empty that way it keeps adding to the same blueprint without looking around too much Not sure if that worked the way I wanted it to. And yeah, it's still looking for around for blueprints. If I move the move in here. Okay, that stayed inside the loop, but it still had that move instruction. Alright. That'll work, though. This is, um, Hole's blueprint. Um. Planks. And I do the same thing. Thanks until your hands are full. And do this. In the blueprint sign area. Did this hands full. 
Be extra quick if you can. Hands empty. And hands empty. All right, night, Wally. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Blueprint. Hmm. Fixing pegs and tree seeds. Fixing pegs. Do the same exact thing as all the other ones. This is why I want the uh, repeatable, of the blueprint, uh, the uh, database. Till hands are empty. Till hands are empty. Keep the whole thing go. And tree seeds. Hey, we made a silo, made the spaceport. Closed for business. Build gold storage. Um, where did I just... Go take one. Go pick one. Hands full, hands full. Do hands empty. Hands empty. Wherever I go, tree seeds blueprint. We just need sticks. It's the only last thing here. Ah, database, yeah. Uh -huh. We already have the bot database. Search for bots in the world and store programs and share them between bots. So you can do folders. <laughs> That's awesome. Get there there, or you can get there with the B button. Um I think I read somewhere that now that you can do linked code so you can link bots to a script in the database and then if you change the script in the database all the linked bots automatically update yes database sticks wait pick any of these upload it to the database look at it shows the script over there Uh, cannot link or unlink while a bot is running a program. Okay. Download programs while a bot is running a program. Linked bots. Okay. This will be... I'm going to call this just my blueprint. Script. So, okay. Okay. Let's get a new bot. What are they? They're worker bots. W-K-R. You are going to get... Here we go. How do I... I think it to the program. Oh, look at that. So it shows it linked. Unlink it, just download it. Because I want to change not getting planks, getting sticks. 
Move two sticks. Take from sticks. We'll put them on a blueprint. So I'm guessing that link, linking them in. Oh, I should read what Anna says. Cool. If you wanted bots to look at a bigger forestry area, you could change them all. It's so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. So if I have multiple bots chopping down trees, I can link them all to one script and then go edit that that one that one script. Um, I'm assuming the defense and offense bots are going to be the same kind of thing. I'm going to want. I'm going to want lots of copies of the same bot, and I want to be able to change them in bulk easily. Reuse an action you've already shown to a bot? You mean like within the same script? Let's see. Oh, that's right. Cereal. We're going to start processing cereal. So this will do fruit blades. And this one we will do flails. See, these are all blueprint bots. Ooh, ooh, I could use this new sign feature. I didn't update all of those. Tree seeds, sticks. Or did I? This one. That area. Okay. I can go to the sign, pick the blueprints and show me the team. That put them all into a temporary team, and I can say blueprints. So what is that going to do? I wonder why there's a database button here. I guess we're not quite ready for this. Gold storage. I need to build piggy banks. I think it was. Um, this can move out of there. Is there a way to upgrade it? Control click doesn't do anything. I'll move this out of the way. Move this guy in front of it. I'm really not going to need to visit that. I've got the blueprint button everywhere. Uh, this just takes stones. Can I nest these now? Can. Cool. Let's uh, take blueprints back out of there. Um, Root blades. You are going to... Go to the stones box. And come up here and put them on here. Just for the sake of symmetry, I'm going to do two of them myself. So Anna, did you mean like, if you want another move to stone storage 2 command, something like that? Or is it like you wanted in a completely new bot? I've shown another bot how to use a pickaxe. I want to just grab that now. Um, hands full. This will be hands empty. Might have it do batches of these. And do an if the 
this is empty. Wherever we go. Crude blade stones. You rename this. Crude blade bench. This is just stones. New bot. Use commands you've already shown. I've already got us. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to copy this up. That's so loud. Um, this is going to be, um, controller batched ingredients. Because it's, if the thing goes empty, Empty your hands onto the bench. So for something like the crude flail here, I can take my new bot, download this onto it, and then just change, instead of taking from stones, I'm gonna take from sticks. But otherwise, Oh, if the uh, crude flail workbench is empty, move to it and add to it. Actually, should have put a move over there. I like the copy that there. So move there and then decide whether to empty it or not. So I'll overwrite the other script. This is um, crude flail sticks. Our forestry is mostly planted here. We do want to get rid of the turf so we can finish out some of those other rows. Don't have a bot digging turf yet. Let me do that. And then this will be part of the cleanup crew too, kind of like my turf herder. I really like having boxes for these tools too. We'll get there eventually. Now let's, where's my spades? Spades. So, your hands are empty, get a spade. Otherwise, find turf in forestry area here. Actually do 11 by 11. Stripes. to line up with the trees we already have. Oh wait, we don't dig up turf we don't need to dig up, or don't want to dig up. Hey, where's me? And the bot is there. So... Now, if... Ooh, can I do the if else this way now? Haha, <laughs> if hands are empty, go get a spade. Otherwise, dig these up. Now forever and go. Temp, turf, dig. And 
This will be temp turf clear. Find any loose turf in the forestry. And, uh, and put it in the box. Repeat till your hands are full. Do that till your hands are empty. Wherever it go. Then once we have trees all through here, I can go in and turf the rows in between so they can walk a little faster than they do in the dirt. Let's do something awesome. Um, crude blade, crude flail, these are just tools. That's just temporary stuff. You can go under tools. So far I have one bot making each of the tools. I don't usually do it that way. Just bought it, downloading it now. Do it. Now that I have, I can, I can totally turf farm dig. Let's do the linked thing for this. Get a bunch of bots doing this. Upload that turf farm dig. Happy. And then we'll get a new bot. Worker bot or WKR. WKR40. Tuning in live. I want this one to be linked. I can get another bot and also link that. Well, that turf from dig. And go. So we've got. Three diggers and one bot planting and stowing. That might be too too many diggers, not enough planters. It's a good question. Let me stop it. Unlink. Doesn't look like it. It just keeps uh, the copy. I wonder, it, though, if I edit this, change... Oh, look at that. So changing this program will affect three bots linked to it. Update it? Yes or no? Not right now. Let's get the uh, plant and stow. Here's where I could use good, uh, make a good use of folders, the turf farm stuff in there. Um, WK, WKR 41, 42. Link, go. Um, with the linking. The linking, I could edit all three of my turf farm dig bots if I wanted to. So I could, if I stop this and go to record, I can say yes. And any changes I make now will affect all three of my digging bots.
Let's go. So what'd that do? Okay. So do I stop and start it? Stop, start. Maybe you do have to reload it, it looks like. But still, that's just one place. You know, when um, If I have a bunch of bots doing the exact same thing, and then I want to change what that thing is, I can just go to one one of the bots, edit it, and then reset all the others. I guess that's the, the bonus. So linking it will still download the script to it, then unlinking it just means now it's it's no longer linked, and I can edit it without it affecting all the other ones. Um, for farm plant and stew. It looks like a three to two to three, three diggers to plant and stows are keeping up okay. We don't have piles of turf. We are out of tree seeds. Whoops. Where's my stick? Got the nut collector. Bash trees for sticks. A copy of this. And get a WKR. Wait. I don't have tree seeds, so I can't make a bot. Okay, new bot, you're gonna do the mallet thing. So just download the program and I'm gonna change it. Um, let's see. Get a wooden mallet. And the nearest stick in the forestry. Except instead of sticks, I want to do... Oh, it's just the area to look in. And the nearest tree seed. In the forestry. Instead of stick. And target the forestry. And if the seed storage is not full... My mouse. There's my mouse. Find the nearest tree in the forestry and go beat it. Go. Oh. Go. Oh. I like having the database this early. Um, this was bash trees for seeds. That way we shouldn't run out again. You get to go on the forestry team. Um, we've dug all that turf. Cool. Stop and just come over here to me for now. And our temp turf clear. Stop and to me over here. Got a lot of work, that turf herder.
Get some back some more boxes. I want tree seeds and stuff or not tree seeds, cereal seed over there. Let's make some boxes. Let's make maybe some pallets. Fences. Stuff. Oh, piggy bank. I can make that now. I don't think I noticed. I saw it in there earlier. I never built it. Then a defense research center. Ooh. New stuff. New stuff. Storage level one, piggy bank. Yay! So let's see. Piggy bank can hold one thousand gold. Yay! You now have one gold storage. It has limited space and you can only have one in the world at once. That said, you can upgrade it provided you can get a hold of the necessary blueprints. Okay. Gold is automatically spent by structures as required, so all you need to do is earn enough to keep up. Hmm. So this would use 50 gold. My rocket, my spaceport back in. Woo! So they're looking for straw and cereal seed. I get one for a straw and ten for a cereal seed. Okay. It's like porridge and bread are things I could make. All right, all right. This up here. I won't be able to build this until I can get gold, so I do need to do the cereal farm next, I guess. Arable farming, imagine that. Okay. I am making blades, I am making flails, I am making boxes. Everything but the gold on this. Just move that out of the way for now. Let's get working on this. Um, and I have to do the stupid drop it on the ground and brush it with a flail thing. Hmm. So let's see. I need. up a blade go use it I should do it with a sign get the sign first um I'm actually gonna want that to go around here so let's move this there-ish. 
And then we'll have our seeds. And our... Um, that was the wrong button. Oh, date. Seeds and straw. Go oh, here. Let's get um, temp turf dig. Record. Do a uh, five by five. In. Where are you? Reach here. And just do the uh, whole thing. Go dig up that extra turf and turf clear. Let's edit this back to, I mean, heck, just any turf. Of course, if it goes up there, it'll get damaged. Shouldn't have a reason to go up there, though. Ooh, our turf bot's starting to lay turf in, the, in between the rows here like we wanted. Um, blanky blank sign. You are going to be... I'm going to go here. And be the cereal farm. Unlink that area. It's five by five. Perfect. Right there. Drop the sign there. Okay. Thought that I was training. We're getting blades. Um, go ahead and use that here in the cereal farm. Cool. Take that. Um, that's if hands are empty. Go get a blade. Otherwise, find this, chop this. Only do this if the storage is not. So that'll chop all of it for now. That's fine. Rename this to the cereal. This will be cereal seeds. And this is um, straw. I never named this. Um, Cereal, cut, harvest. Let's real quick get a bot finding and stowing all this. Here's cereal in the farm. Put it in here. This is hands full if can, hands empty. Otherwise, same thing here with the quick empty, if you can. So, cereal stow. Um, my cereal harvest bot. I'm going to make this slightly... I 
I can make this slightly smarter by doing a... Now, if I do a retrieve and its hands are not... Nah, just one for now. We'll eventually get the, um... It's the... Scythe. That'll be a lot better. But for now, do this. It should stop. <laughs> well, now it has to. But because the box is full, it's going to stop. Um, let me pull one out and drop it here. And this bot is going to get a flail. and use it on this. Can't wait till I get the threshing machine. One by one, right there, perfect. Okay. So, if your hands are empty, go get a flail. Otherwise, if the cereal seeds is not full, find cereal and chop it. Repeat forever. Nope. Have another. Wait. Stop. Come back. Take my flail. I don't want it. Oh. Oh. You are cereal flail. This spot, you are going to get cereal seed in this spot. And put it there. Hands full, if you can. Hands empty. Hands empty. Go, go, go. go. Cereal, seed, stow. We'll need straw stow. Straw in this area. Hands full, it's fine if they're not. Hands empty with a fall through, hands empty, go forever, go. Straw stow. Alright. The last step of this process will be the bot that. Let me stop the flailer for a minute. And I'll pick up one and set it here. The reason is I want it to look to see if there's one there. I'm going to do the infinite loop thing. Um, otherwise, you're going to pick this up and drop it there. So find nearest cereal in one by one. Okay. So we're doing the thing where we do an infinite repeat here. Repeat forever as long as you can find it. So it's waiting until there's no cereal in that spot. The bot that's flailing those is going to only flail if there's no seeds. If the seeds are not full. 
So once there's no cereal, move to the cereal, fill up your hands. And then move here and drop everything. Repeat that forever. So far, it's like a sped up version of the basic game, I think. Um, it's really nice getting the bot database this early. Um, I've never used the spaceport in the regular game. It's fun seeing some of the new stuff. But like, I've already got a turf farm going. Got a cereal farm going. Um, the database is nice, being able to link. Link bots is going to be nice when I need to update one script that a lot of bots are using. So it sees that serial, it's not going to do anything else. I can unpause the flail bot. And then, wait, you are serial stage. I can figure out how to delete a script from the database. Um, I'm not sure if you have to have no linked bots. You just drag it out of there. I don't know. So all the all the bots that I have using it are somehow I'm trying to think of a good example I could use. So just to put something on it. And if I upload this, it's got the copy there. And it's got one bot linked to it. I unlink it. Now I can trash it. So dragging it out didn't do anything. But whatever bot you uploaded the script to is automatically linked to that script. So my controller batched ingredients, apparently there is a linked bot to it. The one bringing stones to the crude blade bench. So yeah, what I had to do there was unlink. There has to be no bots linked to it before you can trash it. Does that make sense? Kinda. <laughs> this bot, is this selected? See, I don't like this so much. I want to be able to see the bot when it says show me the team or whatever. Okay, we're out. Um, I can just start planning these. Um, so, collect cereal seeds and go plant them. Cereal farm. Hands full if you can. Eat forever, hands empty.
<laughs> Chaos just bought the game and is playing it too. Nice work setting up an arable farming operation. This is the foundation you need for a thriving business. Okay. Trading. All right. As you reclaim this world, you'll unlock new blueprints to improve your output and income. But first, you need to complete this mission plan to start trading. Okay. So just earn 100 gold. So Anna, um, Game Medic, and I were talking about how to delete a script from the database. It's like there's no delete button on these. But um, it looks like when you upload a script, the bot that you uploaded the script from is automatically linked. So there's one, my bash trees for sticks script is linked to this. And I have to go to that bot and unlink it from this script before I can delete it. Then that becomes a trash can icon. Um, this is where I make my money. Let me just move this over here. Since I'm going to be putting cereal seed in it. Ka-ching! First sale. So I've got 20, and I can hold up to 1k. I'll move that piggy bank, since it's automatically linked. Oh, that's the middle of my turf farm. How about that? Okay, so I've got 20 gold. And do I go take the gold and put it on there just like a regular item? Or do I have to... I know it. I see what it is. I can click on this to purchase it, but I don't have enough yet. Is that right? We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I might as well feed all this extra straw in there too, right? Since I don't have the mystical stone head, get rid of stuff. Oh, so once I hit 50, it automatically did the blueprint. Huh. You built a defense research center. You're ready to begin your exciting journey of scientific discovery. Science. All available research briefs are summarized here in your Autonautopedia. Select an entry to see what technology you'll investigate to unlock. Basic defense. You can now use any pirate bot pieces of 8-bit recovered to research level 0 technology. Cool. Cool, cool. Well, I have 200, and that only costs one. Did I just click on it? Okay. Better database. Armory to make defense tools. Upgrade bots to defense bots. Airbot dummy, not sure what that is. Training or something? Autonaut armor for me. Root sword. Grunt. It's a basic melee unit, slow and weak, but cheap. <laughs> and a banner. Oh, I bet that's like signs for, like, warrior bot teams. Okay, so... I'll uh, move this out of the way, I guess. Say here. Select a brief and use pieces of 8-bit to research new technology. So, basic defense requirements. I can walk away from it. 
and it just goes. Okay. New sign menu. I like it, yeah. Um, down here, to avoid this giant stack of straw, you have a, tra a straw trash bot. That's cool. That's, I like this. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot easier than like the separate edit the sign text link the area and stuff and then having the, uh, the edit the area completely separate. All right. So if, if. So be if the if the straw is full and if the cereal seeds are not full go fill up your hands with straw Move to the spaceport and empty your hands into it. Hands empty. Yeah, right in there. So if the straw is full and the cereal seeds are not full, that basically means we have an excess of straw. Go dump it into the spaceport for coin. First research complete. Woo! A new blueprints. Let's see, this is um spin straw oh what's how do you spell it? Rum pulls dilt skin. Because this bot is spinning straw into gold. <laughs> I'm clever. Um, I guess I could build more than one of these if I ever needed to do two researches at a time. Let's see, barracks, and they cost gold. Upgrade bots to defense bots. Armory to make defense tools. Let's build one of each. Why not? Ooh, that one's big. I wish I could go look at the piggy bank without having to walk all the way over here. So it looks like it's going to build them in order. Can I rearrange them or anything to reprioritize? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, your first 100 gold. Let's put it to good use. Building a defense research center. Dude, already did. A gateway to new technology for bots, tools, and structures. You need to research pirate bot technology. They call pieces of 8-bit. Under the two abandoned outposts in the zone. I already did that. Operation CD Biz complete. Boop, boop. Good job. You completed all of the plans needed to start earning a steady income and you unlocked the technology needed to build basic defenses. That's all done. Cool. Get ready to put your gold and research discoveries to good use in the next significant phase. Operation Firm Hand. A new series of mission plans to complete. Researching pieces of 8-bit revealed the secrets 
of the pirate's core destructive technology, which we can now put to good use. Ooh. Core defense with the essential components unlocked. It's time to set up a defense of foundation before those pirate bots become a real problem. We've also unlocked the next Autonauts field manual. Ooh. I got the new tutorials available in the Autonautopedia. To protect yourself against pirate bot invaders, you need to use your new technology to make special defense tools and defense bots. Okay. I feel like you keep saying. This field manual contains tutorials to help you get to grips with basic defense automation. Okay. So. Select the armory blueprint. I mean this one. Place the foundation in the world. What does it need still? Stone. I didn't automate stones. Gold will be automatically taken from storage to complete construction. Huh. Um, will it let me train a bot right now? Cool. Is stones... Because I don't have a stone blueprint bot, somehow. Oh, behind the menu. Blueprints. Nope, I do not. So, you will be a blueprint bot. Download the script. We stones blueprint. You are going to not go to planks, you're going to go to stones. Fill up your hands, and then go fill up a blueprint. That'll make Auto not happy. This looks like I have to upgrade the bot database to use this. Interesting. Um... Do I not have the gold for it? Can't see how much gold I have. Forty seven gold. So three more gold and then it'll be built. <laughs> there we go. Good. Select the armory to access its blueprint. Oops, I have a stone in my hand. Okay. This looks like basically like a sign banner. Select the crude sword blueprint. It's two blades, a pole, and a hundred gold per sword. Sheesh. Add the ingredients needed to make the crude sword. The gold to pay for this will automatically be taken from storage. All right, so I don't need the stone. Dump that down here. Actually dump it there. So two, two blades and a pole. Get one pole. Stow it. Blade. I need to start boxing these things. Da, 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 da. Seventeen. That'll take a while. Yeah, yeah. Be right with the auto nut. empty. Serial stage. Oh. 
I should be fine. Eventually this will fill up and we can start feeding those in. In fact, why don't I just go ahead and do that? Let's say only if this is full. Take from there, put in here. Um, hands full. Feet, hands empty. That forever, but um, only if these cereal seeds are full. Which it's not right now. Cereal, seed, two gold. That's just gonna go nuts until this fills up. Just getting there. Just not there yet. I don't like that when the tutorial's up, I can't see that. I can't move the tutorial. I can upgrade this now. Can I just hit the button here? Yes. Okay. What's the upgrade cost? Gold, of course. Sixty-three. Hey! Apparently I made my first defense tool. <laughs> what a sword. To make specialized defense bots, you need to build a new structure. Access the... the this... barracks. Uh, database. Oh, it's going to have me build the database. Basic bot database isn't defense capable, so it needs upgrading. Select the bot database so you can start the upgrade process. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for choosing the automata. Ottoman, Ot Ottoman, Ottonaman. Three thousand upgrade package. This enhancement supports the ADF override protocol. You can now make this many defense bots. I can make twenty defense bots. Defense bots active. Defense bots. But only. This many defense bots can run a program at the same time. So I can have 20, but I can only have 10 active. Unlock further bot database upgrades to make and run more defense bots. Interesting. <laughs> so start upgrading it. <sighs> Select the button to start. Notice you can't access the bot database while upgrading it. Can I upgrade it again already? No. So it's upgraded, yes. <laughs> Getting ahead of the tutorials here, but because I have tutorials on, it's still running through them. Sweet! With your bot database upgraded, you can now control a defense bot force. To transform innocent worker bots into fearless defense bots, you need one more special structure. Access the structural bot. Oh yeah, make a barracks. Should have a back button in case you go too far by accident. So a worker bot, a sword, and a hundred gold. Okay. Grunt. And this is where it would be nice. 
You can make a team of them and just have it making for that team. I like that. So get a worker bot. Crude sword. Worker bot. Can I pick up this worker bot? Yep. And put it in here. Here's your first defense bot. Cool. Da -da -da -da. Grunt. Basic melee unit. Slow and weak, but cheap. So it has... It does less damage, it looks like, than the Skell characters. S higher sense, I think the health is, is better. Actually, I can look here. Okay, so I do... I do more melee damage, but less structure damage. Better senses, twice the health, and faster speed. Now let's teach a defense bot. Basic self-defense. Let's use a dummy pirate bot for this. Select the armory to access its blueprints. Wait, here. A log and three planks. Okay. Log. Move this down here. Edit. Three planks. One, two, three. You need a crude sword of your own to show your defense about what to do. Select the armory and change the blueprint. Right here. Change it back to the sword. It was two blades and a pole. Pole. Two blades. And just got away for a hundred gold. There it is. Crude sword. Lovely. I'll pick up the crude sword. Now it makes sense what the dummies are for. I don't have to train them by running into battle myself and fighting an actual pirate. <coughs> Blow the whistle. Select the grunt. GRT, grunt. Click record. Here we go. How the combat works. Left click on the pirate bot dummy to show your defense bot how to use a combat sort of. In the program created, you can see that defense bots are able to track targets. My nearest pirate bot. Pirate bot or pirate bot structure, just a pirate bot, just a structure, just the defense tower, or specifically a scout. Okay. Track that target, which means they'll run after it, I guess. Select repeat to add a forever loop around the instructions. So until we stop tracking, use the held item. Okay. Forever. Play. The defense bot will now use its crude sword on any pirate bot it finds in the search area. You're now ready to make and train an army to take on the pirate bots. Uh, damage and some flex tape. Well, <laughs> cool. Superior cereal sales. Nifty trick for selling cereal. 
What's this trick? It'd be more efficient if your bot only took cereal to sell when there was plenty available. Otherwise, you're likely to run out. Well, have you got a trick to improve that? Um, I'm already doing the trick, man. I'm only taking it if there's some... No, no, no. Um, until not full. Okay. I don't only take cereal if the cereal storage is full. <laughs> All right, well, make some more grunts, I guess. Um, where do I want this? Here. And the swords. Should go up here. For now. Let me put down a box. Oh, I said a box. All this, um, crude blades. Also, I need a team of grunts, let's say, and let's put this bot in there, and then also set this to put these into the grunts team. Now what I wonder is if it'll stop automatically at 20, or... Do I want it to do that? I don't know. Put the sword down. Oh my goodness, we have a serial team. That's stones, I don't need that. Straw stow. This is cereal. Give me that color. Um, trade. We'll call this one. Now that I think about it, I actually want my grunts team to be red. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You go under blueprints. Okay. We're still making money. Let's automate these grunts. Funny enough, you're going to grab bots, put them in here. Let's just say forever. Grunt. Bots. This one. Nope, that one's inside. That one's being carried. That'll be a little weird. Um, you are going to pick up swords and put them in here. You're going to be grunt, crude, swords. So I've only got one active, got two. 
for these. Um, there's no swords. We need to automate the swords. So this one is in the hands of that one. That one, I don't know why I made two. It's interesting. But this one, I need to bring crude blades. And I need to bring holes. Oh, let's have you stow these, actually. Yeah, that's a good job for you. Find crude blades, pick them up. Your hands are full if you can. Move to here. Hands are empty. There we go. Crude laid stone. Go under. Oh, just tools. I have all the tools in one team there, for now. Ah, uh, grunts. So this one I can link to... Wait, I don't have, I don't have that bot yet. Um, grunt one. Upload that program. Then find Grunt 2. And I want to link it to that program. Seems right. The Grunts don't need names. Oh, and then play. So is it... It's not active unless it's actually started. Interesting. And you have areas, like, down there. So once I make, like, ten of these, say... Then I could go take this on, right? Assign the area to over there and they'll just go bash. Bash and smash. I don't know. We'll see. Need to automate the swords. You are going to come take from crude blades so your hands are full and put them on the crude swords here. Got hands full, hands empty. Do our little cheats. Forever go. This is um sword, crude swords. Crude sword blades. Poles. I'm gonna go get poles till your hands are full. here till your hands are empty. Repeat, hands empty. And this whole thing I only want to do if the workbench is empty. We'll actually make like a batch of swords here. Armory one. Whoops, need a loop. This is, um, crude sword holes. Really using that gold, aren't we? 
Nice. We made enough defense bots for a squad. Defense bots and defense tools come in all sorts of forms. Different attributes like these grunts and their crude swords. Team tactics. Now you have a squad of defense bots at your disposal. It's time to put your upgraded bot database to good use. Sure. Bot database program linked to defense bot. Five of them. I have five. I can link them. Let's see. Um, is there anything I could research? I don't think there is yet. No. Okay, I'll have to unlock this. Some ingredients are still locked. Defense structures. Demolish. Another database upgrade. Defense tower. Nice. Okay. So, bot database program linked to defense bot. Need to set that up. Just waiting for the gold for this. Is that the only thing waiting? I guess the barracks. Okay. Need some more of these. Mm -hmm. Anyway, where are all my grunts? Ooh. Oh, I hope they get a... I, I'm wondering if this database means that in a future database upgrade, I can select a team and like link the whole team at once. That'd be awesome. But I think I've got enough grunts. Let's stop that. But in any case, can I? Ooh, this will work. Team database. Link temporary team to program. Nice. Now you've set up a shared program with your defense bot squad, you should be ready to engage the invaders. Calico Bot's Tomb. Time for your first pirate bot engagement mission. Find Calico Bot's Tomb and use your grunt squad to clear the outpost of pirates before demolishing the old boss tower. That's over here, right? Seems to be the only... Only one. Look up that's tomb. Three pirate bots to remove and then demolish the tomb. Let's activate all of these. And then Changing this program will affect the six bots linked to it. Yes. Find the nearest pirate bot in. Let's just say this area. Did I pick the structure and say? <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh. I'll just uh, maximize that. It's as big as it gets. 20 by 20. These grunts don't have as big of a... Oh, it's their sensor area. Right, right, right. As... And let's just stop the whole team. Um... 
grunts. Senses, 20, so they can do a 20 by 20 square. That makes sense. No pun intended. Uh, one grunt. Yes, all six bots are going to be upgraded. Uh, up this to this. Look at that. Imagine that, too. That's the perfect size. How about that? Okay. And then whole grunt team, let's go. <laughs> this is our first battle. Oh, it saw us. Uh-oh. That sounded ominous. I think it was supposed to be a good thing. Wait, what's this? Removing all pirate bots in this outpost triggered the drawbridge to give you access to the old boss tower. The structure is severely weakened, so even crude swords should be able to reduce it to rubble in no time. I just need to update. Oh, they got health bars in here. That's nice. So now I have to say, change the target. Just stop the team. Database. No, not database. Um, pick one. Yes. Pirate bot. Now let's change it to, wait, defense structure. Right? Tower. Not structure. The structure would be The fences. Two. Whole team. Go. Yeah, so they're going after the fences first. I just don't know if that includes the tower. Oh, cool. When we destroy stuff, we get the hearts back. Or at least some of them. I should just say the tower to speed this up, but I'm curious. I'll, re I'll, I'll look into that another time. Not the, this record, yes, change all of them to just the defense tower. I have to go do it? I'm not finding a defense tower. Okay. Do a... Any pirate bot structure then. Let's reset the team. Turn it off and back on again. Oh, geez. I just noticed I've been going for four hours. That's what Autonauts does to me. So after we clear this outpost, we'll go ahead and call it a night.
I'm glad their swords don't have durability. So these are the defenses. There, they're targeting the tower now. There goes the tomb. Yay! There's the force field. I like it. Nice! Destroying that boss tower disabled the force field to unlock the next zone and reveal new research briefs. Mission completed. Looks like you now have what it takes to defeat the Dread Pirate Robot and their Pirate Bot crew. Have fun saving the world! Hello. And I'll go pick up the baby. Destroying. Look at you saving your first folk. No, seriously, what are my bots going? The Wove Hotel. It is still Wove, Wally. Sorry. House rescued folk. House rescued folk to harness their Wove for repairs. Well, the Wove Hotel house folk and keep them happy. Happy folk make Wove, which you can use for structural repairs. Feed folk to improve their happiness so they make even more love. All right. Log plank fixing pegs. We'll do this. Ba -doop. Can this be upgraded now? Da -da -da. Some ingredients are still locked. Might as well carry the carry this baby back over here. This folk. <laughs> this is our Wove Hotel. Hey, Wove. Berries. Okay, bread went into something that I saw earlier. Oh, it's the... this. So if we make the bread stuff, we can use it at the spaceport to get coins. Use the berry stuff. Get Wav out of the out of the uh, the folk. Just right there. Yep. Hmm. Friends, go ahead and come back home. I guess. And then, um, I'm gonna edit the area. Pirate bots in. I'm gonna need a better defense perimeter or whatever, but this should do for now, I suppose. Start all of them. So if anybody comes here, <laughs> we'll be defended. All right, and let's go put the folk in the Wove Hotel. Didn't realize I was still carrying it. Now, can I put multiples in there, you think? Hmm. 
Berries. I won't just take any any food. I think my turf bot filled up. Turf herder. the full area now and go there. All right, so we could start feeding. Oh, there's research. So can I not do them yet? What ingredients are they? Get a uh, layout. All I'm gonna put my flails there. <clears throat> I just want to feed some berries here. See how that works. some berries and okay so that's pretty slow but I only put two berries in and I got six wub out of it I guess that works. So now that it's one o'clock here, <laughs> time to call it a night. I don't know about you, but I'm having fun with this. I'm looking forward to exploring more now that we took the force field down. I'm looking, how big are we? We're still only in this corner, so we have plenty of map to go still. Let me overwrite this. And... Tchah. I'm going to call it a night there. So let's see if anybody I know is still streaming. See, Veracti is streaming. Go ahead and uh, raid Veracti here. Thanks, Game Medic. You too. I'll see you next time. So, if you don't mind, everybody stick around for the raid and tell them Jeff sent you. But in the meantime, remember. Um, I'm not going to be around Sunday night for shenanigans or next Monday. I'm starting my new job, but hopefully I'll be back next Wednesday. If not, I'll be the week after that, and I'll be playing some more of the Autonauts vs. Pirate Bots. In the meantime, remember to be kind, have fun, and I'll see you later. Night, everyone.